Hello, friends, and welcome once again to our Meditative Mondays, which we are doing throughout the month of April. I'm so glad to have you with me today. Now, Meditative Mondays are a time for contemplating the world, a time of calm and reflection in your day. If you would like to use them as audio during a hike or as a way to prompt journaling or artistic reflection, be welcome to do that. They're intended to give you some space in which to become reflective and think on anything you might not otherwise. So let's just take a few moments to center ourselves, to be aware of who you are in the present moment who we are becoming today. As part of our theme for April, which is becoming, we are becoming aware of our history, our present, and our future. I invite you to take a few moments before we start to get comfortable. If you need to slip off your shoes and get your feet more connected to the ground, you'd like to journal, or you want to get some paper and art supplies to doodle, or create an artistic expression while you meditate, letting your focus flow through the movement of your hands. Think about if you'd like to sit or lie on the floor, on the ground. You might get a pillow to help place your body in the position that works best for you. Just go ahead and do any adjusting that you'd like during our opening chime, or feel welcome at this time to get yourself ready to begin and pause the video while you do so. So now let us bring our attention back, and focus our attention on this reading by Thomas Rhodes. This reading is called Walking the Crooked Path. And as you let the words of this reflection, this prayer flow over you, ponder the words. Let the images from your own life that they recall bubble upward into conversation with the imagery of this reading. Holy Spirit of life and love, you who are our source and our ultimate destiny, lead us this day on a crooked path. So often, we are in too much of a hurry, taking the direct route to our goal, not allowing ourselves to be distracted, sometimes being too direct with one another in all that we seek to do, to be, and to have. But we can see that no river takes a direct path to the sea. Your trees and bushes sprout crooked limbs and birds, beasts, and insects meander in their search for food, shelter, or a mate. We lose so much when we take the direct route, the interstate which bypasses the quaint township, the arrow that misses the mark, the chance to really stop and say, hello, and how are you? And really listen 
to the reply. So lead us on the crooked path, past wandering streams and crooked trees, following our heart's desire, not just duty's demands. For the crooked path also leads us home. And now take a moment to think through your own life and ask yourself where and when have you been on the crooked path? When has your wandering heart taken you off in an unexpected direction? What growth has come along the way? What twisted limbs in their growing have gifted you with unexpected wisdom? When has your meandering search brought you these things, nourishment, shelter, sanctuary, companionship. We may lose so much when we take the direct route. We lose so much when we value efficiency over relationship. So now let your imagination grow wings and soar. Let yourself float ahead through time to where you might go in the future. Here, where your dreams are just beginning to form. Ask yourself, what is coming into being? What hopes are here? How would you be as a person, if there were no limits, who might you become in one week, in one month, a year from now? Now, bring yourself slowly back when you're ready. If you'd like to take longer, go ahead and pause the video. Bring yourself slowly back from that precipice of the future, from who you might be in a year in your wildest dreams and trace that backward from a year away six months and one month to a week from now, tomorrow or today. Today, think on that possibility and then set yourself one goal, one hope for what you will do today to become that person you dream of being. Let yourself in this way become just a little more free to be you. Blessed be.